Hello Guardians, welcome back, this is Rightway Gaming bringing you another Destiny 2 video. So, last night, the Black Armoury went live. Woo! Now, I've spent nearly 12 hours from the launch just playing through this, and as much as it's a disappointment, it's not a disappointment. I'm actually looking forward to it. But, this video is going to be how to complete the Volunda Forge. I haven't managed to do it yet myself, but that is because I'm too under leveled. But I will go through the mechanics during this video just so that you guys can get it done once you are of the right power level. So, first things first, you will have three to four points of the map where the ads will spawn from. You need to keep an eye out on this. Now, the best way we found to do this was to stack up in a three and camp at the back of the forge where there's like a cave system. Get a warlock to drop a well. Titan to use melting point and that is pretty much roughly all you're going to need. Now the way it's going to work is there's going to be waves and waves of ads that come at you. Stay in that position near the caves. Every now and again there will be these blue glowing ads that spawn that are yellow bars. You will need to kill them to gain extra time in the current wave that you're in. If you notice there's a timer in the top left it roughly starts around 50 seconds to a minute. If that reaches zero you fail the task. So the idea is to kill the blue ads to get that timer up. Now, the second part to this mechanic is the blue ads will drop bombs. I'm going to call them bombs because that's what I think they are. You need to pick up these bombs and you need to throw them at the forge to charge it. Now, it can be a bit glitchy. If you throw the bombs at what seems to be the ridges of the forge, like the little flat sides rather than the actual furnace in the middle, it can bounce off. Not only that, but I've noticed it can bounce off if you do anything like dodge or shoot while the ball's still in the air so just try to avoid doing that just try to throw it nice and clean down the center of the forge now once you complete the first wave you'll get into the second wave now the second wave is basically the exact same thing apart from the ads will change and they'll gain higher power so they'll become power 625 and the ads will change from gladiators and scions to legionnaires and colossus now the legionnaires are a lot easier to deal with but the Colossus can be a massive pain in your backside if you don't notice that they're there because of obviously the fact that when they shoot they give you that big misty cloud stuff that slows you down and if you get trapped in that you're pretty much going to be dead. Now I did this last night at 6.06 .06 and the first wave was a breeze. Second wave was a struggle but still managed to do it. Now when I got to the boss 6.06 .06, I was getting really hammered so I do recommend getting to power 6.10. The third wave will trigger the boss. Now the boss, pretty much just like the start of the campaign to the Black Armoury where you have to hunt down the saboteur and you have to take his shields down by killing the drones, it'll be the exact same process as that apart from me will have quite a few drones around him, I think it's about eight. You have to shoot those drones down, shoot all of them down, his shield will get lowered and then it's just DPS the boss. So we thought about sitting at the back of the map with spindles, so that's a valid strategy using a, a warlock well and melting point. Um, but I've heard that one of the best strategies is to use 1000 voices because it absolutely melts him compared to any other weapon. Now, personally, I don't have that gun. Some of you won't. So if you don't, then sleepers, whispers, usual weapons should work. It's just about keeping your shields down and add control. The only thing I can advise you to do is try and make sure you focus the blue ads. If you can do that, you should be able to get to the boss. Um... Second round, you'll also have uh, turrets that spawn that you will need to kill because, again, they were a massive problem for us. Um, and that is pretty much everything covered that you need to do to complete the Volunteer Forge. Now, it's not easy. It is difficult. It will be a slog at first. But once you get to the right power level, it should be easy enough for you. Um, I hope that you found this video helpful. If you think I've missed anything out, let me know in the comments below. And, as always, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe, guys. I will catch you next time. Right, we're gaming. Over and out.